We've done it. 10K. That has long been a goal of mine. I've been trying to reach it for the end of 2018, but I missed it. Better late than never though. I wanted to do an elaborate montage like I did for my 5K sub special, but unfortunately I didn't have anything planned because I was so busy. It's basically all about this too. In fact, I sneaked out while they were having a nap because I don't always get this time to film these days, especially with little Nikki in the picture now. Truth be told, in preparation for this special, what I did was to take the kids out to the park earlier just to tire them out. Of course they had lots of fun, but unfortunately our fun got cut short because it started raining. But all is well in the end, they got their nap and I'm free to do what I want. So anyway, 10k, that's quite a feat. It's a target that I've been trying to chase after for a long time now. I'm not really that concerned about my sub count, but it just feels so great that there's, a, there's this huge number of people who are watching me. 10,000, that's a huge number. Of course, it's insignificant compared to the larger channels out there, but 10,000 is still 10,000. Imagine getting 10,000 people in the same room as you. That would be chaos. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support through the years. Well, through the year, I think I just... This is my second year, actually. Is it? I started September 2017. Yeah, a bit over a year. I got sidetracked there. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for your support, for watching my videos, for letting me know how much my videos help you. I appreciate all of your feedback because you take the extra care to be very constructive, to be supportive, even in your criticisms. I remember getting a lot of complaints about my choice of music because sometimes the music levels are off compared to my speech levels. So it's something that I tend to struggle with. But anyway, let's get into what this video is about. So yes, we hit 10K and I've got lots of plans for this channel. I'm going to continue the trajectory of where I am right now. What I'm doing is still a vlog and I get lots of comments about the length of my videos and I'm going to stick to my format wherein the Let's Plant vlogs would be over 10 minutes long because the Let's Plant vlogs is mainly a place for me to, not necessarily to rant, but to discuss, to unload all of my thoughts of a specific topic but of course there also needs to be a format where i could give out information give out data in a more condensed form without all of my tangents that is and has always been the let's plant bites so from now on i'll be trying to pick out more of the topics that i've more of the broader topics that i've discussed in my episodes piece them out and make separate videos about them of course that means that i would have to divide my time between the main episodes and the smaller episodes, you no, know, the smaller videos. At the rate that I'm going right now, I'm not able to do two videos like I used to do before. I can definitely do one, but two or three might be difficult. And that mainly has to do with the fact that Nikki is at the stage that she's exploring the whole house. She is climbing. Yeah, she was climbing the cupboards, the, the shoe rack, the bookshelves and I've already drilled them to the wall. You know, child-proofing, it's a task in itself. You have to think like a toddler, get down to their level, you know, just see what they can see. But until she gets past that stage, I think I would have to settle with one or two videos every week. My main thing will always be the Let's Plant videos, but I'll try to push out the smaller ones once in a while. Now, speaking of smaller ones, I don't think I'll be able to work on a 
let's plant video this week for the next weekend and that's mainly because my my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law are, are arriving and i want to be able to spend some time with them this week especially since i'm the main driver in the house so i need to be there tour them around so i'll have to pause let's plant for this week and resume it next week but i assure you it will be well worth it because i initially had a smaller script but as i am delaying it I've been adding more and more information to the script, making it, improving it, making it even better. So I think skipping one week would make it even a lot better than I initially planned. As for this week, I'm still going to release a couple of videos and they would be the shorter form videos. These are easier for me to produce. So hopefully that would satisfy the cravings for a week. But yeah, they're already lined up. Another thing worth mentioning is that we're nearing the mid of March which means that we're halfway into the first month of autumn or in the case of those following the astronomical seasons we're about to enter autumn and what that means to me is that I'm finally going to take down the shade cloth and in turn that means that I could finally resume working on my landscapes so that's what my let's plant episodes are mainly about with me playing around in the garden the educational stuff it's just coincidence I guess just an evolution of the vlog I envision this mainly to be an escape for you for you to just watch a ran some random guy in Australia working in the garden and at the same time you get to pick up lots of knowledge lots of information while I take you on the ride so here's to future rides more rides more information more entertainment more videos and hopefully to 100,000 subs <laughs> I think that's a goal, something that I would be targeting for two or three years from now. I don't think my growth is explosive, but we're on a steady pace to 100. So if you think that we deserve to get there, to be more mainstream, then share my channel with your friends. Let people know about series capades, about this crazy guy in Australia playing around in the garden, wearing the same green shirt every week okay almost every week and yeah let's have fun together i'll see you in the next episode bye